Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joseph Novichkov, Senior Trading Manager with GDM. Today's session outlook, we will start with the Asian markets. They traded higher on Monday, as we can see from the board, after the Federal Bureau of Investigation again cleared presidential candidate Hillary Clinton. Of course, from a potential criminal charges in its private email server probe. Chinese markets, as we can see, recovered uh, in late session after the losses, the Shanghai Composite Index was up about 0.25% or about 8 points higher at 3133, while the Shenzhen Composite was slightly, slightly higher with just about 0.06% or about 0.32 points. Japan's uh, Nikkei 225 finished uh, up about 1.6% or about 271.84 points or 1.6% higher on the strengthening yen. As we can see, the yen is up about 1.42% to 104.52, with, of course, European markets and all of the bourses also higher in morning trade, as we can see, as confidence grew over the Hillary Clinton's victory in the US presidential elections. We can see the pan-European stock 600 index almost about four points in it positive territory or about 1.2% up, with all sectors also in positive territory. Having a brief look at the FTSE 100, almost 100 points, 99 points up or about 1.5%. DAX is all also higher with massive 161.5 points up or about 1.55%. We can see those are massive uh, gains since last week's closings. The dollar, of course, uh, jumped on Monday as news that Hillary Clinton would not face criminal charges uh, related to her use of a private email server gave the U.S. presidential uh, contender boost before the November 8 election. As we can see, the euro was uh, down about 0.74% uh, or about 83 pips down or to 1.1052. Well, of course, after the four-week peak of 1.1142 reached on Friday. After markets uh, largely looked through the U.S. job numbers on Friday, that again backed the case for a rise in U.S. interest rates next month. Stronger dollar, of course, sent the pound also lower with 1% or a massive 125 pips down to 1.2392. Gold prices also down on Monday as the dollar and stocks rallied, down with about 1.43% or about $18.83 down to 1285.67. Of course, on continued progress toward the Fed's goals, two policymakers have said that with uh, both supporting an interest rate hike at the central bank's meeting in December. Also, let's take a look at oil prices. They rose on um, Monday over 1%, uh, pushed up by the uh, uh, OPEC club that it was committed, as they say, to a deal uh, made in September to cut output in order to prop up the market. We as Wax Tyson Intermediate uh, crude futures were up about 71 cents or about 1.62% to 44.78 a barrel. That's all from all the involved things of today. I'll see you next time again. See you. Bye-bye.